as you can see, this exercise begins with a simple triplet diddle exercise, then goes into some much more difficult parts. I'm gonna fly through this first bit real fast. So you beginners, you may have to pause it. You more advanced players, hang on me, or I'll stick a time code below so you can skip straight to the quintuplet section. First line, we've got a check pattern, which is gonna set us up. So one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, then we've got our diddles. Right, we have three partials in a triplet, one, two, and three. The first section of this, we put the diddle on the first note and we go digga da da digga da da digga da da digga da da So that was four times. That's gonna give us this. So with a check pattern, one and a two and a three and a four and a We then move it across to the second diddle. So that gives us one and a two and a three and a four and a tap diddle, tap diddle, tap diddle, tap. And one and a two and a three and a four and a tap, 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 tap. And then finally, we go to the third diddle, which will give us all together one and a two and a three and a four and a tap, tap, diddle, tap, tap, diddle, tap, tap, diddle, tap, tap, diddle, tap. I should be counting one chip that, two chip that, three chip that, four chip that, or one and a two and a three and a four and a one. So that's the first part done, all right? Diddle moving from first, second, third note. All the way through this exercise, what we're aiming for is the diddle volume to be the same as the check pattern that's around it. So we want this, not this, and certainly not this. So try and even those out. This second part, we're now looking at five strokes. And again, we're going to play the five stroke first on the first two notes, and the second, and then the first and the last. It's easier to me to show you, so it goes like this. After the check, one chip, two chip, three chip, four chip. And again, one chip, two chip, three chip, four chip. Then we move it across the diddle, which should give us this. Tap, tap. They're sometimes called tap fives. So one chip, but two chip, but three chip, but four chip, but one more time. One chip, but two chip, but three chip, but four chip, but oh, one chip, but two chip, but three chip, but four chip, but tap five, tap five, tap five, tap five. Stop. The next one's a bit more complicated, but it's the same thing. We're gonna get. Check one chip, but two chip, but three chip, but four chip, but and the final part of the triplet diddle part of this exercise then is now going to be a roll over the four counts one chip, but two chip, but three chip, but four chip, but and then a tap roll over the four counts. Tap. So I'll play that line first line one chip, but two chip, but three chip, but four chip, but. And again, one chip, but two chip, but three chip, but four chip, but. And then the final one, one chip, but two chip, but three chip, but four chip, but one. So you can hear it's a tap roll. One chip, but two chip, but three chip, but four chip, but tap. So that is the triplet diddle part of this exercise done, all right? Beginners, again, I apologize if you're struggling to keep up. Pause it, watch it, and catch up with me. When we get here, so what we're into now is a whole bunch of parts that have got groupings of five notes, quintuplets. Quintuplets, the way I teach these and count these are um, either count to five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, or an easier way is just to use words. The word that I like to use, well, there's two, hippopotamus sometimes used, but for me, that's a bit of a mouthful. So one of the ones I like to use with this one is opportunity, 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 opportunity. Now you've got to get really, really comfortable at playing these as comfortable as you are at, say, playing threes. So fives. What we're then gonna notice is, the way they're playing this is they're playing eighth note quintuplets. Now, if the marking time had just been this, I could have taught this in 10 seconds. However, they're not. There's another step in between each of those. So we've got this kind of polyrhythm idea going on. If we count to five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, and then our left hand plays one, and the end of three, we get one, two, three, and four, five, one, two, three, and four, five, one, two, three, and four, five, one, two, three, and four, five. 
But that is what their feet are doing, or our feet are going to be doing. One, two, three, and four, five. One, two, three, and four, five. Now, if I whack my foot down, hopefully you can hear. That's what we're aiming for. Now, if you've got a fancy metronome, I've got one called uh, Pro Metronome, and I can do polyrhythms on it. So, this here will be a five over two polyrhythm. One, two, three, and four, five. One, two, three, and four, five. One, two, three, and four, five. One, two. So join in and play like this. Three and four, five. One, two, three, and four, five. Opportunity, opportunity. Then one, two, three, and four, five. One, switch hands. And our ultimate goal is to mark time with those bass jumps. doing this is so the actual part is just one two three four five 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 the hard thing is keeping the timing going with that now often more often than not playing things slow is good for you right it's going to be improving how well you play in this particular case there's so much room for error because we've only got a reference here and then ages away here. We're, we're going too slow. So I'm gonna do this one a little bit faster. So get your feet going and just listen to how that lines up. into a groove. So, one chip put, two chip put, three chip put, four chip put. Then one, two, three, four, five, 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 one. We suddenly have to put the brakes on which is difficult, right? So when we're doing the essentially sixes, one, two, three, four, five, six, 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 one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. That's essentially what they're doing. Let's see if we can forget the metronome. Like I said, it's gonna be very difficult for me to get this accurate at this pace, but I'm gonna try my best. So let's try it. So. So. Mark time if you can. I find it a bit easier like that. Now the next line has got the same thing. But except we're accenting the first of each other's five. So one, two, three, four, five, 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 stop. So that's our five over two polyrhythm section taught. Right now the next part, they go even more insane. Suddenly it feels like it speeds up. Physically it does, right? The timing is staying exactly the same. So how are they doing it? Well, what they're doing is they're playing over a bar of three, four. So in other words, there's three quarter notes in each bar. But what they're doing is the start of each of these fives, the opportunity, opportunity, is landing on the downbeat, this guy here, then halfway between the next two. So we're actually getting this one, two, and three, one, and three, one, and three. Again, if you've got a fancy metronome, put a poly polyrhythm on to learn it. One, two, and three, one, two. So my feet are going one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, and your feet should be doing the same. Then we're just gonna play one, two, and three, one, and we're going to switch hands, right? So I'm going right, left, 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 right
right, left, right, left. So I'm playing ones, all right? Let's think like that. One, 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 one. If I change the one to threes, I get this. So three between each of those target notes I'm making now, right? Now where it gets a bit insane is if I then try and do four between each one. Oh, I need a bit. That's six, isn't it? So fours. Nah. There. So that's fours, right? Well, what they're doing is not fours, it's fives. Now, that is hard, but for you guys who are thinking, ah, oh, forget this, I'm gonna close this, right? It's not as hard as it first looks. When we mark time, it means that if you think of your feet going down, so this, this is my feet going up and down here, sometimes you can reference the and note, so one, two, three, four, one, two, three, by the one, and when the foot comes up, and that's kind of what's happening in this, right? The second five is starting when the foot's in the air, so we get one, two, and, one, so it's on the way up, all right? So we're gonna get this. We try it with the met, but I turn off the three over two. So we get then. So start with, just join in with me. And just get used to how it sounds. And then start to feel, see if I can talk at the same time. One, two, and three. That's the second part that they play, right? It is damn hard to try and talk, listen to that, play, and explain to you guys, right? So the basics are the first line again, go. But we're doing that over the three, four, and the second line goes. So let's see if I can do that. If I put this in three, four, and I think that's the best way you're gonna learn this. I don't want you to sort of scoot over this and think, I'll just play with the video, right? And not know it. Because I tell you what, you've got an audition for Blue Devils and you can't mark time to it, you're getting sent home. So let's make sure that you can do this. Let's try. One, two, three, one, two, and three, one, two, and three, one, two, 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 three, one, two,
into that section there, all right? So one, two, two, three, four, three, four, 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 four. Then. Those two transitions there. I'll try and do it with the metronome. So for playing the whole end section, it's going to be a bit easier for me to have this going on because of the bars of three in there. Let me see if I can figure this out. So, so here we go, last line of the triplet. Okay, so that's a bit slower than I've been practicing it, but no excuses, right? Let's try it again. One, two, triplet part. Not bad, two. One, two, three, four. Last line, sorry, tap roll. Now, honestly, it's easier fast, right? If I'm playing, if I'm playing the fives, feel it a little bit more right let's try playing the whole exercise let's try doing it with a metronome let's see if we can get you guys playing it right we're in at about 125 there which is reasonably slow the end section but mm, let's drop it down to 120 whole thing one two wish me luck I was a little bit slow on the. It wasn't far off that again. Let's try again. I can tell you that is a lot easier to do. My screen's turned off when you um, have other people along you because you've got that kind of that feel of a group there, and they're like, "Yeah, we're right here." You don't have to guess so much, right? You guys need to learn that marking time. Let's go one faster and see if we can nail it a little bit quicker. So this is one thirty. Uh, let's go a bit faster. One forty. Here we go. One.
Okay, not bad. A tiny bit slow on. A tiny bit too fast on. Not far off. Here we go. Last time. And that hopefully is enough information for you guys to at least have a go at playing the whole exercise, start to get it in your head. How are you gonna get good at it? Well, the same way they're gonna get good at it. You play it five trillion times over the season, all right? Or let's say 500 times, right? After you've played that 500 times over the next four, five, six, 10 weeks, you'll find that you'll start to really understand the timing of those polyrhythms. Polyrhythms is a big thing. If you know nothing about polyrhythms, this is the first time you've ever heard the word, go search some stuff on polyrhythms. I think I've got some other videos on polyrhythms as well. Go check those out. If you're enjoying the lessons, please consider subscribing, um, hit the notification button, leave me some comments, and I'll see you all next time.